trying to get in formations and all the base things. Uh, I feel really good about the number of the amount of experience that's out there on that field right now. Uh, guys like a PJ Daniels and a Murray, and you look at that offensive line. Uh, we took we took Damian Edwards from tackle and moved him over to guard and filled that one of those guard spots because of his upperclassman experience. And all of a sudden you start looking at it and you're saying, wow, now all of a sudden you're, you're, how are you going to replace two upperclassmen? A guy like Edwards, who's a fifth-year senior, steps into that spot and makes you feel really comfortable. And just, you know, we're really excited about the attitude and what we're doing out there. We still, you know, throw and catch it as well as we'd like to. You know, and that's the, the consistency part is what we got to continue to work on. And we talked about some of those goals yesterday, but I really like the attitude. Came out here, did a lot of competitive drills, uh, did some, a little bit of one-on-one, a little bit of pass scale, a lot of team apart right now until we put the pads on on Saturday. But, Love the, love the energy and the spirit and the leadership that the senior class is providing this team right now. When you have a coordinator change, does it help when you're already familiar with the person? Very, uh, very much so. Uh, and it's great to get the feedback from the Sam Barringtons and the Didi Lattimores and the Lemaires, just how smooth the transition's been and how excited they are. It's like Didi said to me, he said, boy, he holds us accountable. Wow. <laughs> he holds us accountable every little step, minute detail. But Chris, knowing uh, I know what kind of coach we got, I know what kind of person we got, I know what kind of communicator we got, I know what kind of fundamental football coach we got. So from my standpoint, I felt really comfortable that it was going to work because I know so much about Chris, and I just have great respect for him as a coach, as a coordinator, as a person. He was the defensive coordinator at South Carolina when I was the offensive coordinator there. So we had a chance to spend a lot of time together, and I just had great respect for him. Uh, I asked him to learn our defense when he came in here. So, you know, we, we've got one one thing changed on defense. Right. Uh, I don't want to have 50 guys have to learn the entire new defense. I'd rather ask one guy to come in and learn how we're doing things. And a little bit of an adjustment and a change for Chris, but Chris is on board. I mean, he's like, Coach, it's easier for me to learn it than it is to ask them to learn everything. And so uh, the transition for the players have, has been really smooth. And I think there's some great chemistry, great work habits. Uh, what's going on right now? Those minute things, is that what you feel is the only thing missing from last year when uh, things did go wrong late in the No, I, I think one of the things, we, we've talked a little bit about our depth uh, and how important that was. We've talked to the team about it and how we have to continue to continue to coach that. The thing on defense, just talking about that side of the ball, uh, we feel like we got to get better in our pass defense. There, there's some things that we got to clean up. We've studied that hard. Uh, I think, you know, obviously, there was enough talent on this football team to win. That's how we got to the lead in 11 out of our 12 games uh, in the fourth quarter. But uh, to lose them the way we did was frustrating. I know it was frustrating for the players, for the coaches, for the administration, for the fan base. And it was frustrating for everybody to be that close. But the attitude and the way these guys are working, I think it's great. And that much more resolve and determination to make sure we get it straight. I don't want to hammer or harp on it too much because I don't want it to be something that you know, we kind of browbeat. Like, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. We just have to continue to grow from it. But the attitude and leadership in the locker room right now, I think, will help us get there.